Hi everyone with Christine's theme of garlands and uh, wreaths and swags. Uh, this is a beautiful wreath that um, Shirley Ann made for me and uh, so today we are going to learn what the Bible says about garlands and decorations and the Bible says that God decorates our life. And if you know that, if you have come to know Jesus as the Lord of your life, you must have experienced how he decorates our life. In Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3 it says, To grant joy to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland for ashes, scented oil in place of tears, a song of joyous praise in place of broken hearts. So God says that, he is going to make, take away our mourning and gives, gives us a garland. Beauty for, beauty for ashes. A garland is a beautiful thing. When you see a garland, when you see a wreath, especially during Christmas time, it brings beauty to the house. It brings beauty to the place that is there. So God is saying that He is going to decorate our life with His garland. He, for the ashes, He's going to give us beauty like garlands and he's going to give us scented oil in place of our tears and then songs of joyous praise for our broken hearts so if you accept Jesus as the Lord of your life you can experience your life being decorated by God and God says that he's going to make us trees of righteousness planted by God God for the display of his glory we are going to be his glory displayed so wherever we walk, wherever we go, God's glory is going to be displayed in our lives for His glory, for His glory alone. So today we're going to talk about a few of the things that we can read from this scripture, Isaiah 61, 3. And it says, the garland of unconditional love. The New Testament, we discover that love is kind. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, it puts others' needs ahead of us and in Romans chapter 12 it talks about that it doesn't criticize love doesn't criticize and it believes the best of every person God wants us to be garlands of love during this Christmas and during the days of our life God wants us to be love in midst of um, pain in midst of anger in midst of anything that is not love God wants us to be love his love shared among others in our lives and then God wants us to be a scent of oil of unlimited joy and in Habakkuk 3 verse 17 to 18 it, see, it says that in, in the midst of great trials although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no crops the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Still, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. So God wants us to have joy in midst of, midst of pain, in midst of trials, in midst of whatever you are going through. Especially during this Christmas. This is a different year where COVID-19 has hit many people's life, many families. But God wants to give us joy in the midst of trials, in the midst of sorrow. God is saying that he's going to give us unlimited joy and he's going to wipe our tears and give us scented oil and we'll take away, wipe away our tears, to take away the sadness and give us unlimited joy, joy unending. And that is only found in Jesus alone. The world cannot give the joy, whatever you have, whatever Things that you collect cannot give you the joy that God alone, Jesus alone can give you. And the next one is, he's going to give us the song of unchangeable peace. It says, Jesus said we can have peace right in the middle of the storm. In John chapter 16 verse 33, when our world is caving in around us, we can still have a song in our hearts. That has to be supernatural. And God wants us to give us peace in the midst of the storm and he's going to give us a song of peace song whenever we are sad god is going to give us song and in isaiah chapter 61 verse 3 it says that songs of joyous praise 
in place of broken hearts, that he's going to give us joyous praise in the midst of broken hearts. So during this Christmas time, while you make these beautiful decorations of garlands, wreaths and swags with Christine, Christine is so talented and she's able to teach us how to do these beautiful wreaths. Surely Ann and Christine is so talented. So we are going to learn whenever we decorate our house with these garlands that we have created, God is decorating our lives. Whenever we see the garland, whenever we see the wreath, we remember that God is the one who is decorating our lives. And he is decorating our lives in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. He's going to take away our sadness. He's going to wipe away our tears. He's going to give us joy unending. And he's going to give us peace and a song of praise in our hearts. So God is amazing. So let's glorify God in whatever you do or say during this Christmas. And uh, also that let people come to know Jesus through our lives. Let our light shine and let, see, let uh, people see Christ in this Christmas time. So I hope that you enjoy making your decorations and hang it somewhere and let it be a, a piece of work where, where you hang it and when people admire your work, you can tell them that you are a decorated piece by God and God has decorated your life with that unlimited joy and peace and love. God is faithful. I hope you enjoy creating your beautiful art craft, craft piece with Christine. God bless you all. I just want to pray to pray with you all. Thank you Jesus for today. Thank you Lord that we can create these beautiful crafts Lord. We thank you for Isaiah 61 verse 3 where you say Lord that you will give us beauty a garland for ashes and that you will wipe away our tears and give us joy unlimited joy and that you give us peace. Thank you Lord Thank you that you are in our life and you are decorating our lives. Thank you, Lord. I pray that this Christmas that people will see your glory shine through us, that you will be glorified, that you will be honored, that you will be magnified, and that Christ will be there during this Christmas. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enjoy your craft. Bye.